Hey, podcast listeners, to catch up on the news stories that you need to know, join me, Gabriel Sunday, for The Sunday Show. Uh, it's like the New York Daily, but with full-blown musical numbers. We've got some, some violence, a lot of tasty, taking fire. But and drugs. Um, you know, marijuana's cool, man. Politics. Packaging. Sex. we got uh, yeah, yeah, gay yeah. sex right. yeah. and some straight uh, stuff, too. I think I've heard enough. And even some of your favorite guest stars stopping by. You're monsters. So check us out wherever you get your podcasts. Here we go. The Sunday Show, Sundays, sometimes Mondays, on Starburns Audio. Starburns Audio. Dan and Ren and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price fail. I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. Dumb, dumb, so listen dumb, to our podcast dumb, jam dumb, with co host Arm and dumb, Dan. Dumb, and dirt, don't be a jerk. Dumb, Cause when the music dumb, gets the funny dumb, hits, dumb, we are gonna take you down. Stick around. Make a sound, town, townies, dumb people town. Hey townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Population you. Population Feemster. Fortune <laughs> Feemster. Welcome to the show. That is an awesome intro. Right? Thank yeah. you. So like glad it. you're here. Do, 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 do. I got very excited at it's how uh, the back and forth on that. It's like it's watching fun. lovely tennis. It is like what? In, in the heat of the U.S. Open. Yes. Where we're doing Knee our version of the it. West Coast. Welcome um, to town, Fortune. Thank Welcome. you. I'm happy to be here. Something tells me that you, and not just your accent, but something tells me that you- <laughs> North Carolina? Are you North Carolina? North Carolina, okay. yeah. So you dealt dealt with your... thinks is the Midwest. Well, no, he keeps How saying I grew not... up in the woods. What? I'm no, like, I'm where in North Carolina? Are you uh, right outside of Charlotte. Okay. Tiny town called Belmont. Did you uh, come up at the zone doing stand up no, at the zone or no? Was I didn't it learn. I didn't learn how to do stand up until I moved to LA. Wow! I decided to wait and learn at the comedy store. I oh it. my god! I learn learn, learn how to do stand up. It's like I didn't you learn how to like riddle. I know. No, she makes it sound like riding a bike. It's like I know. you could always I didn't do learn stand-up. that skill. Uh, I no, guess you, I didn't. I didn't uh, start explore doing it. that. That I'm until, sure you were always yeah. funny. I was. Um, Funny, like in my own way, but I could be a lot more shy than people realize. I was the uh, observer. And in your brain, you are saying you're the funniest shit ever. I thought I was so hilarious right. in my brain, but so, I wasn't sharing it with a lot of people. When, and that was the learning process. It's yeah. like, I got to turn what's up <laughs> here inside out. Well, I'm sure in your traverses that you uh, have come across many dumb people oh, in this world. Oh, yes. More than I, <laughs> more than I cared and brag about so let me ask you we pose it to all of our guests here do you believe the world is getting dumber kind of like a global dumbing as you, as it were like global warming I, or are we just hearing more about it we're definitely hearing more about it because yes. of social media yes. uh, a lot more dumb stories are being presented to us on a daily basis <laughs> only because uh people are also trying to create news constantly true where where are the stories what are the headlines and so you're seeing a lot more of it I do think there's less of an emphasis on education. Yeah. And a lot of schools are uh, having a lot less money. Mm, so that true. definitely affects uh, um, what people are learning, which in turn, yes, yeah. is making so people we're, dumber. We're, we're producing dumber <laughs> like people. If you yeah. ask kids what you want to be, Right now, like eight, nine, ten year olds, there are Instagram like, influencers. Yeah, they would I say want to be an influencer. YouTube star. YouTube star. Yeah. Instagram influencer. And what do most of them do? Dumb shit. Yeah, that's right. For yeah. sure. Like this, that's how you get on. Let me do the cinnamon shovel. Right. Hit me in the face yeah. challenge. Yeah. Right. What's the cinnamon oh, shovel? I, I, I want to do that. What is it? <laughs> you guys built a ramp? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, let's just make it up. You uh, eat a bunch of cinnamon to get hit in the face with a shovel. And then you sit and, on the handle. And you uh, try to keep the cinnamon in your mouth. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon shovel, shovel face challenge. challenge. Is that for ALS? Okay. Uh, Dan, come on. You got so stories. We get sent stories you. sent to us that we've never heard them. Randy and I, Fortune's yeah. never heard him. Yeah. Dan Sometimes barely, I, yeah, I barely really heard him. Sometimes gonna, I know it's good and I stop. We're yeah. going to work through it. So Dan, let's get into it. Dan, right? what you got for Sent us? Sent in by Tony at AKFETS underscore why not. AKFETS <laughs> underscore why <laughs> not. Fets. Uh, and by why not, it's literally the letter Y, y. and then N-O-T. Okay. <laughs> okay. A Reedsburg man is charged with kidnapping after allegedly pulling a knife on a man and demanding a ride. 
Okay, okay. This is old school Uber. Country Uber. Yeah, right? yeah. Country, yeah. <laughs> country Uber. <laughs> uh, you want five you, stars? You, you take credit cards or not? <laughs> hey, are you Rick? <laughs> no, you're Rick. <laughs> I'm yes. getting in, Rick. Yeah. I'm not Rick. I don't know you, man. <laughs> Do we What's, know if he ended up getting a ride? Uh, oh, we he know. Did. Oh, he did. Oh. At about 5.30. Which, by the way, it is interesting that they call it kid napping. Mm -hmm. Even when if it's a man taking an adult. another a man, man napping, yeah. it's man, man napping. napping, which never happens enough in my life. Thank <laughs> you. There, Wait, you have and usually take, men aren't kid, kidnapped very often. Not know? a lot of men are kidnapped. Uh, you, so the ladies win in that department. Uh, oh. Suck uh, it. <laughs> suck it, guys. Wait, wait. I don't think that's what <laughs> We're is. number one. <laughs> wait, fortune. I don't number one in kidnapping. I don't think ladies. that's what you brag about Ladies that. are the best. <laughs> Do not brag we about that. We get kidnapped. Why is most she so proud of that? She's really everyone. proud of that. <laughs> have you seen Mark Norman's bit? <laughs> no. Where he's like, the shit that a woman can say versus what a man. I had an older woman come to me and say, ooh, I'm going to kidnap you. And I was like, if I if we reverse that, <laughs> nope. Uh, nope. Uh, it's like Norman. my it's like our uh, Richard Simmons bit. When yeah. Richard Simmons like on a plane sucked my thumb. Yeah, I was like, Wait, if that... if I were to find a random person that I did not know before, man the or woman, woman, yeah. and just yeah, no, start right. sucking that person's thumb, that's like... the moment where we find out who the air marshals. Are. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> oh, he's gonna spring into action. Oh, okay, All right. okay, at about five thirty. A.M. Oh, that's early. Oh, I'm boy. not guessing they got up at 4.45. No, no, it's hard to get a is... ride early in the morning. Mm -hmm. This is she from the knows. night before. Oh, she that's knows. always a stress sleep when you're on the road and you've scheduled your Uber. Uh, and you're like, they're not coming. They're not you're coming. just relying on someone else getting up I don't early. ever schedule Ubers in advance. I don't trust it. I, I don't either. You got to do it in the moment. Yeah. But even like... then, you're like, and then some of the places where we build, they're like 17 minutes away. And you know they're in their house. And they've accepted yes. the thing. And now you're just waiting for Getting them to out of leave the shower. their house. You're like, wait, it went up to 21 minutes? Right, because they're just in their house. Yeah. Like they, How long does it take you from the time you're like, all right, I need to leave at this time. And then when you get up, minimum yeah. six minutes. Yeah. Yeah. You're so right. Uh, okay. At about 5.30 a.m. on July 28th, Deputy Justin Wegmuller. Great we last name. Great. <laughs> Solid. Weg Mueller. Weg Mueller. Could have stopped at Weg Mueller. Weg. Mueller. Weg, Weg yeah. Mueller. What's up, Justin Weg? Weg. <laughs> What's up, Weggy? Weg Mueller was dispatched to the new uh, Lisbon quick trip for the, a report of a disturbance. I love a good quick trip. Yeah. Yeah. Urge pizzas, urge soda, urge Stop. soap, urge paper towel. Stop. It's all brand urge. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> urge overkill. You want to know something? Wasn't that a band? Up at the, my yeah. family. I think we talked about this yeah. when I was on your show. My family, we have a little cabin up in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. There's a quick trip. Been there. Slept that is the bed. healthiest place you can eat in the entire town. That's saying I'm a lot. I'm not joking either. Dan's right. <laughs> We've been salads. to Yahoo's. It's the only place that has salads that aren't iceberg That's lettuce. That's hilarious. Even yeah. healthier than the buffet at the Foxhole. Tail. <laughs> Fox tail. Yeah. It's a strip club. Because uh, I used to be, have a buffet. These parents gave it to their son, and he was like, thanks for the business. I'm turning oh, this into a strip club. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, I've eaten there many times, old sure. and new. Hold okay. On. And they have no buffet. Yeah, there's no food service. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. Stop it. They do have crabs. <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> at, at Fortune Feimster on Twitter. Send all I go every time I'm there now. They have a black check machine that pays out. Okay, Damn, here we go. Stop, stop it. it, Dan. The reporting party. That's the only slot you can put stuff in. All <laughs> right. Sorry. God damn it. The reporting party indicated a man held a knife to another man's throat and demanded a ride to Reedsburg. Wegmuller arrived with two other deputies, Gordon and how, Bourgeois. 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 B O U R. He's a little bougie. G E O I S. It's bourgeois. 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 Which is, when you say someone is bourgeois, they're he's a little like, bougie. He's a little yeah. bougie. But they just, this is. They got some names of wherever right. this is. Reedsburg. Well, I can tell you, it's from W I S C News, and I think it's in Alaska. Oh, oh Alaska. I'm not sure. But I'm not sure. That's Dan, even is it harder to find rides there. I kind of get it now. Thank you. Is it something... weird to call a town Reedsburg when very few people can actually do that? Reeds. Oh, yeah, right. Reeds, well, Reeds and Berg? I know. Don't yeah. think so. Don't think so. Not in this Berg. <laughs> uh, okay, Wegmuller arrived with two other deputies, Gordon and Bourgeois, and a state trooper, Lloyd. They're only giving last names for these other mm. cops. You know, Gordon and Bourgeois, Bourgeois and Lloyd. Gordon and Bourgeois is it's the, the entire police force. It's the Alaskan <laughs> Rizzolian Isles. We've said it, we've said it many <laughs> times before. Once on scene, Wegmuller saw a man later identified as Anthony Hansen, Ann Han. Mm -hmm. Anthony Hansen. <laughs> 
Uh, standing by the side of the Quick Trip on his phone. 5.30 in the morning, guy on side of Quick Trip yeah. on his phone. If you can't do what you need to do in front of the Quick Trip, then there's something up. Yes. Something is up. Something's going on. Mm-hmm. You got to go to the side. approached Hanson, asked him to keep his hands up and not make any sudden movements, and explained why they were there. Okay. Hanson complied, and officers noted a strong odor of intoxicants Mm -hmm. emanating from Mm -hmm. Hanson. If they didn't, there would be a problem. That's true. I'm totally sober. I'm good. Pulling knives on people. That's scarier. That's (laughs) scarier. Finally, you guys are here. Would you call us? (laughs) No. (laughs) Then why? I knew you were coming. Uh, Where are you guys going after this? (laughs) Same place as you. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) We're hanging out with you all night. Asked if he had a knife or any other weapons on him, Hanson said no. Wegmuller searched Hanson and found a knife in his pocket. Oh, he lied. He's a liar. We'll find out. He, is he definitely was like, do you have a knife or any no. weapon? No. Do you no. have a knife? No. no. He reaches in and pulls it Don't out. Look there him. it is. Don't I look hope. in my butt. <laughs> I there it like, is. Do you have a knife? No. 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 You have no knife on your person. No. 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 Check no. me out. And then he re pulls it out, and I just hope Hanson went, ta da! <laughs> Wasn't Man. there before. It's magic. I do have Wolverine claws. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some tape. You're Give welcome. Tape. <laughs> Give me some tape and a spork. Stop it. Uh, Wegmuller asked Hanson what had happened, to which Hanson, which is always, if you're a cop, this is your favorite Dan, part of the interview. This is, your favorite this is where you, what happened. Dan, this is where the cop gets to ask the most open ended question <laughs> and just let the person See, go. If I were a cop, I would bring stopwatches and you would take bets on how long will this person talk. <laughs> this is a go, four minute. Yeah. And, the, and it all, this is where cops, where if they're doing their job correctly, sure. they make the person feel like we're on your side. Right. Yeah, dude, we're here to figure we it out. We want to hear like, your totally side get of it. We're to you first. Let's we find don't know how we got here. Knife on this jerk. I used, to do that. I used to do that when I was a bouncer in a bar. Somebody, Let's hear if yours. I knew I was kicking someone off, I'd be tell, like, come here and hey, man, me. what happened? And then they'd start telling me, I'd be like, well, I can't, because of the bar, I can't hear you. Like, And then they start again, I'd be like, oh, dude, I need to hear your side. Let's go outside. Tell me what happened. And then we get out there and be like, can't come back in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so oh, what mean. a cold. trickster. So perfect. That's uh, cold. That's a pretty good trick. I yeah. never Let's knew go that. Tell me outside. I can't hear you. <laughs> I have another trick, Fortune, I want to tell you outside right here. <laughs> don't hey. do it, Fortune. Don't, don't hey. go. Uh, Just right uh, outside okay. here. Okay. Yeah. Bye-bye. Ah! Bye-bye. <laughs> no, don't go. Okay. So they asked him what happened. To which Hanson replied, he was abandoned and wanted to get to Reedsburg. Mm-hmm. He, when he was three, I don't know. I Probably. was abandoned. Oh, I was so abandoned. abandoned. A life of abandonment. This is dead. I issues. have mother issues. Yeah. Mother I issues needed to severe. get to Reedsburg. So, you didn't say you got ditched. You get left behind. Uh, abandoned. abandoned. Is, that is a crisis. It's a deeper, yes. more hurtful. <laughs> also, a drunk it. person wanting to use a word to prove they're sober. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? They're like, <laughs> I, was I was abandoned. abandoned. <laughs> this is a travesty. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm my bad. I meant to say a band aid. <laughs> You're a band aid. I, I need a I need a band aid. Yeah, need a band-aid. Get him a band aid. He said abandoned, so but he, he needs a band aid. He replied, Abandoned is such a <laughs> choice of a word. That's <laughs> like, that it, it's because, a good word. If us, but it's no, it's a personal hurt. Right. Yeah. He was abandoned and wanted to get to Reedsburg. Hansen asked deputies several times if they could drive him to a woman in Reedsburg. Yeah. You take me to a specific woman? woman? No, nope. his mother. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> the abandoner. We gotta issues. find her. We gotta I find I her. I need to guys. confront her. <laughs> we gotta find her. She left me at a garage sale. She's gonna be so excited to see me. Nope, it's five forty-six in the morning. I don't Officers think she's be noted Hanson's emotions fluctuated rapidly. Oh, of course, between happy, sad, and angry. Yeah, Aban- uh, drunk. This, this is the way abandoned people behave. Hanson <laughs> told Weg Mueller he'd been drinking at the bar from the quote. Movie that Kurt Russell was in. Ooh, which quote? The one with Kurt Russell. You know Kurt Russell. Russell. Hanson kept repeating <laughs> to the officers. <laughs> I'm sorry, that well, one doesn't ring a bell. Overboard? Uh, you don't know <laughs> Kurt Russell. <laughs> big Gold trouble in Chinese town. That's China. not even no, the title. No. Little China in a big I city. A Follow China. me, boys. Oh. When he didn't have a dad because he was abandoned. <laughs> And Fred McMurray became his dad. <laughs> it's got to be an older movie, though. I mean, Kurt Russell is in movies, but he I don't know that he's starring right. in the Not movie. Not nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. But well, wasn't days. he in, uh, he was in Guardians, of Guardians of the Galaxy 2? 2? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but would you say that Starred? was his movie? No, no. definitely not. Okay. No. The Kurt Russell well, Overboard movie. was definitely. Overboard <laughs> is the call. It's like Bone Tomahawk. 
So he was mad. He was he angry, just keeps saying, happy, and sad. And he keeps saying repeatedly, quote, the one with Kurt Russell, you know oh, Kurt, Kurt Russell. Russell. Uh-huh. This is what I love. These, these cops are good. I love it. Asked if he meant the bar called Roadhouse in Nasita, Hanson said yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's my Patrick friend, Swayze. Uh, that's fucking Swayze. You've. <laughs> That's a real you your, bar. The bar's name I is guess. Roadhouse. Yeah, but he oh needs to get his God. angel straight. I was in that bar from the movie with Kurt <laughs> Russell. You, you mean, mean Roadhouse? Roadhouse? Yes. yes. <laughs> Hanson said yes. It's right by the camp where they dance dirty. Yeah. <laughs> like I promise you, Patrick Swayze just like rolled over in his grave because uh-huh. he's like, I didn't even get credit for that. Pirouetted. Rolled over he on his. Po- he his rolled grave. over in his pottery wheel. Uh, Hanson said his roommate. You know our idea to make. I love Kurt Russell remake, and Ghost. Do you know our idea to remake the movie Ghost today and and star Patrick Swayze? Actual star Patrick do Swayze. It. All right. Who would ever know? Yes. Still be talking to him. I would ever know. In the making of the movie, like <laughs> yeah, that's he just, comes back. And so, talk. so it's a documentary. Yeah. Ghost Two is a remake booting of the actual, actual movie, movie with, with actual, actual Patrick, Patrick, and you call it a rebooting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's clever. Thank you. Dave, you made that joke. I just love that these cops are like. Okay, he said it six times. Do you mean Roadhouse? They know what yes. he means. They're just trying to get him as close to it as they can. Uh, Hanson said his roommate dropped him off at the bar to help the owner close. No, you wanted to go drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to help him. I got to help him close. Uh, it's just opening up. What I'm, I'm going to drink 10 beers yeah, but it's while the, he closes. They're just open. Right now, <laughs> you're gonna help him close. I got, I got to They clean the table. I'm gonna sit there and watch him. He needs me. He doesn't need you to watch. That's not I'm gonna, me. I'm gonna hold a towel. That's in my not hand. helping. Hanson, stop drinking the half cans. <laughs> he needs me. I'm, I, just I'm, gonna, the table. I'm gonna put my mouth under the beer spigot. No, <laughs> that goes, just for a minute. No. I cle- I'm cleaning it. No, it's that's I'm not how you. That's it. not that's how not you how we clean, clean the pipes. I'm cleaning it. We don't clean it with our own. Mouse. You guys don't like Kurt you Russell. Guys. I hate you. That was Swayze. Oh, no. He's angry again. Oh, my. Hanson yeah. said his roommates dropped him off at the bar to hope the owner, help the owner close. He missed his ride, which that's his whole life. Yep. He missed his ride, <laughs> so the owner told him to get a ride with her friend. Okay. Uh, well, I love that the bar is owned by a woman. woman. Hans- Can I just we for don't have enough say- female bar owners yeah. in, this, in this world. Hanson got into a vehicle with a man whose name he did not know. Don't ever do that. That means he just got into a random car. He got into someone's car. (laughs) He kept repeating. He got into someone's car who was like, now we got to deal with this. And let's go to the quick trip and just leave. (laughs) Tell him, hey, go out and get whatever you want and then just leave. He probably sat in someone's car seat. He like kept... a two-year-old's car seat in the back. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Why I'm good. Is... I fit. I can't get the seatbelt on. He kept repeating. You hate these Cheerios? <laughs> he kept repeating to officers, the man was supposed to drive him to Reedsburg. Mm-hmm. Hansen claimed the man abandoned him at the new Lib- Lis- Lisbon quick, quick trip, trip when he went to buy cigarettes. The officers... Spoke to the report. How fast did that guy peel out the second <laughs> he, he went got out into, of the car? Like, <laughs> no, he, he had to get, he had to let him get far enough and in. I mean, he peeled out mm-hmm. like you've like smoking. You're in not the gonna go anywhere. Style. No, no, I'm turning off the car right, right now. Everything's not gonna go anywhere. I'll be right in there with You're you. You're not gonna go as anywhere. soon as the day. Don't abandon me. <laughs> Don't abandon me. Okay. I'm right here, I've been man. A lot. Okay. I'm right here, man. Don't go in and get your cigarettes. Right. <laughs> Kurt Russell wouldn't abandon me. No way. It's Patrick Swayze. Go right in, and I'll be right back. Okay. The officer spoke you don't leave. with the reporting party, aka the friend in the car, that I'm gonna call Jeff just to keep. <laughs> Okay. Why not? Okay. Jeff said he fled from the quick trip as soon as he was able. Of course. Jeff said yeah. he had almost run into Hanson in the middle of the road outside of Roadhouse. Mm. First, also, all of this is on brand for Roadhouse. It yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. It's the way most people go home. That means and... the drunk guy threw himself on the guy's hood. Totally. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> hey. Oh. What's going on here? <laughs> Are you Michael, my driver? No. Uh, he <laughs> almost ran into him in the middle of the road outside of Roadhouse and stopped to offer assistance. I don't want to no. make the blame here, but <laughs> no. middle of the night, do not. I mean, you can 
window cracked, you can be like, you need any? Are you yeah. okay? I'm going to call you an Uber. Right. <laughs> I, I, this is me. Person jumps out in front of my car. Scary person jumps out in front of my car as yes. I'm hit, driving. Hit reverse as fast as you no, can. No, no. Knock him over and, I, and then crack the window a little bit as you're driving Dude. over him and saying, I'm calling an ambulance for you. <laughs> yes. Like as you're pulling away. Right. It wouldn't be bad. Take it's better out. than being out like, what do you need? Don't. Well, if he um, called him an ambulance, that would get a ride to Reedsburg. Hanson told him, that's Jeff, he told Jeff he needed a ride to Reedsburg, mm. but Jeff said he did not want to drive that far and offered Hanson a ride to a motel. Okay. That's fair. It's pretty it's not nicer nice. than most people. Exactly. Jeff took Hanson to St. Joseph Motel, but they were unable to get a room there. Or at the motel across the street. We got a real Mary oh, and Joseph were, situation here. I mean, that's a lot of effort being put yes. in by this guy. By a random guy. Yeah. Right. But who maybe oh. is the friend of the bar owner. We don't know that he isn't. And also, like, is he getting a motel room to be with this guy? Yeah, what's happening? Like, yeah, is what's that happening? what's about I to happen? Because a motel is an odd place to take Because it says they were time. unable to get Yeah, like they were, they were both trying. You would just drop them off and say good luck, but yeah. it sounds like they were like, let's see what we can get. Yeah, yeah. because at that point, you're so right. If it is a random person, you pull up to the motel. And All right, like, buddy. Take it Thanks. easy. Yeah. Yeah. Have a little, little bit of the you got that on the hood, as you. Yeah, you got there to choose from and there to, to choose, choose from. from. Yeah. Two Just, options. Yeah. yeah. But I've he went with part. him yeah. to get a room. That sounds suspicious. After, the, well, after they were unable to get a room, Jeff stated Hanson pulled a knife, held it to his throat, and demanded a ride to Reedsburg. Mm-hmm. Fearing for his life, Jeff agreed to drive to Reedsburg. I'd be like, okay, we're going to Reedsburg. Yeah, sure. Let's Jeff go. said he and Hanson got... Back into the truck where he convinced Hanson to stop at a quick trip for cigarettes. So that's Jeff being like, you need cigarettes. Yeah. I'm mean, saying Jeff is like batting a thousand right now. Other except than taking for stopping. In, except for stopping. Except they for both... every choice he made <laughs> leading up to this. Once it was a crisis, Jeff is doing all the he right things. He convinced Hanson to stop at quick trip for cigarettes. They both went into the store. So that was oh, a real you gotta rookie come to. move. Yeah, Jesus. You know. But. Jeff fled as soon as he had the chance. Once around the block, he called 911. I would have driven more than a block. Far, way farther, farther. Than a block. <laughs> Wegmuller asked Hansen if he pulled the knife on Jeff. Hansen initially said no, no, but then changed his story and said the man was hitting on him mm. and, asked, uh, and wanted to have uh, exchange money for sex. That's also not knife worthy. Yeah, you just no. go no. Just say no thanks. He goes, I don't, yes. I'm not giving you those... Blow jobs, but I do need a ride. To Reesburg. <laughs> also, that's all a lie. Even if even if Jeff hit on him, they went to the hotel together. Motel. So you were yeah, you're right. Dan. Dan. It's not a holodome. Dan. They were they were so he was not opposed to now it. That I, was happening. Now I know why he said at the beginning, you need to take me to Reedsburg to see a woman. Yeah, this right, is that's him a lie too. Right, it's establishing I, that he's like, straight. No, or maybe no it is. homo. He's, he's both. Maybe I'm he's going bi. to see a lady. No, no homo. homo. Right, and so stop what? saying that, sir. That's not going <laughs> in the <laughs> report. No. I got. There's a lady waiting on me. So <laughs> no, no, no homo. homo. Hey, Don't stop. Say that. You got to stop. <laughs> Wait. So so what if you know when you think about a reed? A reed is like a long, thin. Sure. That you can reed. make noise. Out. Yeah, like you can almost blow into yes. a reed. Yes, you do actually. Guess what else you can blow? Yeah. Right? Hey, okay. So, so hashtag no homo. That's Hanson, a, I'm not putting that in the report. <laughs> that's a re- that's a euphemism. He I want to you to take me to Reedsburg. He wanted to blow. I'm taking you to Reedtown. I'm taking you to. Dixville. Uh, uh, I love that he's like, "Do you pull an eye on him?" No, and then instantly he's like, "Okay, yes, yes," because he wanted to have sex. With Asked me. about China. stopping at motels, Hanson initially desi- de- denied they had stopped at motels. Once pressed for more information, he said they did stop at motels. Of course, okay. you're just a liar, Hanson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just tell the no, truth. They're, they're gonna not. get it out right, of you. you and that Jeff had taken him to the motels to try and have sex with him. Mm-hmm. Okay. What you knew? You're. I don't. No. All this is BS. <clears throat> Wegmuller placed Hanson under arrest, which led Hanson becoming upset and stating he did not understand. No. Of course you don't. don't. Why am I the one getting arrested? (laughs) Hanson claimed he was being placed, this is my favorite excuse ever, he was being placed under arrest for not performing oral sex on Mm. Jeff. No. That's not a law. (laughs) That's not a law. (laughs) You didn't suck his... All right. This is is gay profiling. (laughs) That's right. Uh, He told officers they should have arrested Jeff for hitting on an extremely drunk man. Mm. Okay. It's not also not illegal to hit on someone. Yeah. Totally illegal not. To maybe it's, harass somebody. It's, but it's, you, um, you could be drunk and be like, hey, I'm drunk. Are you drunk? <laughs> it's, 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 drive it's, it's Mr. Meaner. It's Mr. Meaner. Guy. Asked why he continued trying to call Jeff after he was left 
at the quick trip. So he keeps trying to call Jasmine. Oh, he has his number. Hanson yelled, quote, exclamation point. Because he abandoned me. Yeah. So he is hurt now. Yeah. Is See, this is about is love. This a it is a love. This is about yeah. love. It's a love abandonment. If, you, if there are no feelings there, then, then you're, you're not d- calling then drive that off guy. into yeah. the night. Hanson then, if you can believe it, this I think this is the fifth time. The fact that this guy owns a phone is surprising. <laughs> it flips. It flips. <laughs> it's sure. a this phone. And then he has Jeff's number. Yeah. They, I know. they had th- there was clearly something some stuff happened. was going on. Thank you. Hans and Jeff son was on board until the knife came out. Yeah. Right. Hanson then changed his story again. Of course. of course he did. Saying instead that he had asked Jeff to pull over at Quick Trip because he wanted to get out of the vehicle. No, you didn't. Not no. true. Hanson was transported to jail where he provided a preliminary breath test, which registered at how much? Okay. How drink? Do, oh. How drink? How, how drink, drink is he? How drink, how drink, was drink he? is he? How drink do you guys think? So just Hansen so you know, was, and I'm sure you do, but for people listening, home, drink sounds zero, more friendly. Zero point zero eight is the legal limit. Right. If you're above that, you are now driving a DUI. Yeah. You're if you drive point oh eight. Point oh eight. So point like, one. Is, is a lot. very drunk. Point two, two is no. it? yeah. Point one to point five, you are you, you're, you're drunk. drunk. Point yeah. two is out of control. Point, point three, they is... just poured it like vodka into the breathalyzer. So a three. Now, ah. but here, keep <laughs> in mind, oh, just because I want to be fair, I remind you of everything. Yeah, it's five thirty in the morning. Mm-hmm. So he, it's been a while he since he eaten. drank. So you should factor oh, in. Oh, time. Okay. oh, and he has not eaten yet. Yes, and no, he's definitely not eaten. He's gonna. So how, he, he got so you, some takis. You can go. Trip, you can guess. It. Yeah, takis first or in between the two of us, which is the Tig Nataro slot, Tig or third. Where would you like to guess, Fortune? Uh, I'll do the Tig Nataro okay, slot. Do the Tig slot. Jay, Jay, Jay go first. Jay. Jay. Uh, so Dan, you just you saying that makes me think that he was like maybe like a point oh nine. Well, I just wanted you to factor it in. I but am fair. I think yeah. he was a point. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, you're, yeah. You're it's, next. it's Fortune. You're next. Fortune. Uh. <laughs> point one. Point one. Zero? Okay. Point one oh? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah Ooh, sorry. One up I think point two. Okay. Getting out on this? I will tell you that Hanson is scheduled for initial appearance August 21st, so it's already... No, it hasn't? Yes, it has happened. If you want to go to Reedsburg and see the... Uh, qu- <laughs> At the Juneau County Justice Center. So this is in Alaska. Okay. The amount of blood alcohol content, the reading on the breathalyzer for Hanson, the man who changed his story... And not his heart is zero point one eight. Yeah, oh my God. Oh, more than twice. The I legal said that limit. because I'm sure this guy was over point two at some oh, point. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. But it had probably been at least two hours since he drank, and three. who knows what he ate. By the, the way, zero point one eight. I mean, three for one hot dogs at the quick trip. Zero point one eight is Alaska sober. Just ask John Dore. <laughs> All right, uh, shall we take a break? Let's yes. do it. Take a break. Fortune Feimsters with us. It's Dumb People Town. Stay. Stick around. Make a sound for more Dumb People Town. question jay if you found a hundred bucks on the street yes would you pick it up or keep walking uh i'd probably pick it up of course you pick it up and take the money so why do you keep picking winners and not betting on them do you understand what i'm yeah. saying oh, you I see know. the money on the yes. ground you just yeah. walk right past it that's why i go to my bookie it's fast it's easy and they pay when you win let's face it where you're betting is just as important as who you are betting on. That's correct. I wouldn't be telling you guys to bet with them if uh, they weren't the best. We wouldn't be saying this. They are the best. Do the smart thing. If you're going to bet this football season, bet with my bookie. That's right. Did you know that you could bet on games after kickoff? A lot of people I did not think, know that. A lot of them want that first ball is kicked off. It's done, right? No. no. If by the second half it looks like your bet is going to lose, you can always just take the other side. How, How about that? How beautiful is that? That is, that, that is like, that's like a betting loophole. Money out there waiting for you. If you're the kind of guy that likes, or gal that likes to bet a little and win a lot, Try a parlay. If all your picks come through, you can multiply your winnings. This is how you do it. And no matter how you bet, the NFL season is the best time of year to do this. So if you don't have a team that you care about or your team sucks, but you still want to be invested in what's going on in the NFL, this is a great way to be invested in outcomes of other games. So join now and my bookie will double your first deposit. Use, use the promo code Dumb People. That's it, dumb people. Uh, to activate this offer, that's the promo code dumb people. Visit mybookie.ag today. You play, you win, you get paid.
Hey, it's me, Daniel Van Kirk, breaking into this ad portion to tell you about my tour. Um, all of everybody who listens to Dumb People Town and Pen Pals, I love you guys. And I just want to let you know that I'm probably coming to a city near you or to a city near people you know. They live there. So come out and see me. Go to DanielVanKirk.com. This is all going to start the final run of the Together Tour. on the. I'm doing the 13th. We're doing a live Dumb People Town. So... You can come to that. But then on the 14th, I will be in Philly, and then I will be in Baltimore, and then I will be in Chicago. I'm headlining Zanies in Chicago. It's my first time headlining a club in Chicago, Illinois, and I would love to have so many of you people come out to Zanies. That's the 16th through the 19th of October, and then I get right back into that Together Tour the next day on the 20th, and I'm going to Detroit, and then I am going to to Rochester, and then Boston, and Albany, and New York, and Cleveland, and then I pick back up in November on the 11th, and I'm doing Louisville, uh, and Nashville, and Milwaukee, and Cincinnati, probably not that order, and then I end my tour on Friday, November 15th, in Rochelle, Illinois. So, if any of those cities are close to you, please come out and hang out with me. Come to those shows. I would love to see as many people there. I think we're doing it at Hilarities in Cleveland. That's going to be super fun. That's a, a Friday night, and there's so many other great shows as well. Obviously, New York and Philly and upstate New York. You guys have been asking me to come there, so I am. Boston as well. Again, go to DanielVanKirk.com to catch me on the Together Tour as I wrap this up. For everybody who's come out to shows in the past, I love you and I appreciate you. And everybody who's going to come out, let's hug and say hi. DanielVanKirk.com, the Together Tour. Thanks. Hey, guys, welcome back to DPT. That's Dumb People Town. Mm -hmm. uh, our guest is Fortune Feemster. She's a great follow on Twitter and yeah. on Instagram. What are you? you are, uh... Fortune Feemster on Instagram and Fortune Funny on Twitter. Okay. Fortune Funny on Twitter. Follow both of those. And you have a fantastic Serious XM show with our buddy Tom Papa. Yeah, all on of you guys Netflix have been on channel. it. Yeah, yes. done it and I loved it. What a joke with Papa and Fortune on Channel 93 on Serious XM. What time is it? It's a morning uh, show. It's a morning show. 7 o'clock uh, Pacific time which is 10 o'clock Eastern time. Mm -hmm. Great drive time, you guys. Then it repeats in the afternoon, like two, two and five, Some, yeah. something like that. You guys have a great chemistry. Thank Obviously, you. you're both super funny individually, but I love the rapport together with you guys. You've it's, really developed that. It's cool because we are similar in a lot of ways and different in a lot of ways, yeah. and we have a very different perspective, and he knows a lot of stand-ups that I don't know, and mm -hmm. so I've been meeting a lot of people, and Great. then I'm introducing him to people that Great. Well, he's he New York know. comedy yeah. for a lot. And yeah, he's out in L.A., and he's been in L.A. for a while, but mm -hmm. I think of him as like coming up in New York, and yeah. you came up in L.A. I came up here, so I don't know a lot of the New York So had you guys. met Seinfeld before you guys had no. him on? How was that? I, it was amazing, because I, I, well, I always wanted to meet him, for sure. but I certainly didn't know that I would ever get to like sit down and talk comedy with yeah, him. Yeah. So he was going to come in for 30 minutes and ended up staying an hour and a half. Wow. And I just was like, we, the three of us were just having this like cool conversation about comedy. Mm -hmm. And it, to me, it felt like, oh, I'm a real comic now. Yeah. Like, not that I wasn't before, I but know, it just but felt hey, like. Hey, Hamilton, you're you know? just in the room where it happened. You're yeah. in the room where it happened. So, no, you were there because you belong there. Oh, okay. is, that, is that listenable to people who have the Series yeah. X and app? You can go back yeah, in the archives. Yeah, you guys release YouTube. I know that my yeah. article the day I did, or article, the day I did with Kill Martin, that's mm -hmm. released on YouTube, uh, yeah, my they, interview with you guys. They put, like, I think uh, they do, like, most maybe like 70% of the interview mm -hmm. they put on um, YouTube. YouTube. And then I think they're fixing the app so that all of the stuff's on demand now. Great. Right. Awesome. As, of, as of the last few days, I believe. That's Definitely great. gonna yeah. check that out. Yeah. And uh, you have dates and stuff where you're doing live stuff coming up. Yeah, I'm on the road. I'm in Santa Fe coming up in Phoenix, Arizona because I'm shooting an hour special the end of September in nice. Charlotte. Nice. Where Do you know where it's going yet or no? I do, but they haven't announced it yet. Oh, okay, then I won't um, say anything. But it's yeah. got a home. And it's got a home and so I'm shooting that in Charlotte and doing a show in Newton, North Carolina. Everyone's like, where is that? Where is that? It's near Hickory. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm just uh, then Huntsville, Alabama, Nashville, all kinds of places. I love all where right. you're going. So where Thanks. in Santa Fe do you do? Is it a It's a or? new festival, a uh, Cloud nice. Top Comedy Festival. Awesome. They um, asked, or, I think Maria Bamford's doing it too. Cool. So it's just like a cool- It's a great town. Cool desert comedy festival. It's a great town. I've never Go, been to Santa okay. Fe. So there is a lunch spot. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> Pasquale 
Pasquale's. Mm. Oh, yeah? Dave Pasquale's? Yeah. Not Dave Pasquale's. <laughs> it's Pasquale's. really, really good. And uh, so definitely okay. check her out if you go to fortunefemster.com. That's the one. You can see all these dates. And if she's playing near you or you're nearby any of these shows, or you're lucky enough to see the taping of your yeah. special, which is always fun to be at a taping of a special. Mm-hmm. Your you laughs, get to really your help face out. on the cover. Uh, it's going to be fun. Check it out. I'm sure all that stuff's available on fortunefemster.com. Yes. And then listen to the radio show. Now, Dan, you've got some dates Yeah, just go up. to danielvankirk.com. If you're in the Midwest or the East Coast between like the 12th of October and the middle of November, chances are I am coming to see you, including uh, also like Nashville, Louisville, and Milwaukee. So, so no. <coughs> danielvankirk.com. Calm. Let's hang out. When this drops, we will have already done our Largo show, uh, live Largo show with um, with Pete Yorn and Kate Micucci and Andy Richter, which I'm very excited about. But the next one looking forward is uh, in New York on, on, the 13th. on the 13th of October uh, with Michael Che and Aparna. It is going to be super oh, nice. fun. We might add a little musical uh, jaunt. We're working on that as well. And if we sell it that out, we'll do another so one. so much fun last time we did it. Guys, get there early. Get your tickets. Get your tickets now. It, and it then will get sell. there early because it was standing room only last time. Yeah. So come on. That's at the Bell in House again. in Brooklyn. You can always uh, Also, go hey, this Saturday or this Sunday night, we're going to coming up. We're going to be at uh, Flappers. We're doing mm-hmm. an hour. We're like working our hour, which is good because we're close to our new hour. Yeah. Uh, which we're very, very so excited So good about. right it, now thanks. with what you guys have Thank going you, on here. And I should highlight that I'll be at Zany's in Rosemont in Chicago the 16th through the 19th go to that of October. There you go. So uh, come see, see Dan, me in Chicago. If you're in Chicago, see Dan, and then the and next you guys. week, yeah. see us at Tinley Park Convention. Where that's go September 27th. I know, yeah, right? It's all there. Oh, Enjoy. I'm doing a bunch of LA shows too in nice. September. Oh, cool. Great. So nice. check it out. All right, let's, uh, let's hop do, another do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sent in by Leah Harris at Cheeky Chick 1016. Thank you, girl. Cleveland. Ooh. Mm. We don't, we don't normally get to oh, yeah. there on my tour. Nice. There you Hot go. We'll yeah. be there in Some February. Some good restaurants there. Some great restaurants. You go to the Greenhouse Tavern. I haven't been to that one, but Street? I haven't been there. That's good. Ooh, so good. One, one of my that. favorite Mexican restaurants is there. I don't remember the name of it, but it's like where you can make your own tacos. Come on. In there. That's, um, why, you that's why Cleveland so is... I'll find the name find for you. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. why Cleveland, too many people, is called Little Mexico. They do. <laughs> you would have They're trying to build a wall around Cleveland. <laughs> and just to keep all the a Cleveland Mexican. bank robber is providing a new chapter in the book World's Dumbest Criminals. Okay. Right. I mean, to be you... known as a Cleveland bank robber. Yeah. And also, alone, if that's your title. And also, there is no book called World's Dumbest Bank <laughs> No, Robbers. there's a podcast. <laughs> okay. I guess so. Ours. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this also comes out of Fox 8 in Cleveland. Thank you, Fox 8. You've probably promoted one of our shows in Cleveland. It was just after 11 a.m. on Monday that a man walked up to the counter. 11 a.m. At- is brash. I know the bank's got to be open in order for you to rob it, but that is like mid morning. Yeah. yeah, you already had breakfast. Not just lunchtime, exactly. Mm-hmm. You are if you up were going to put moving. thought into it. When would you rob? Nine a.m. Right, for, right like, when right the, when they open. Mm-hmm. Eight thirty. Like right when people, when people are groggy. Yeah. yeah, you see yeah. Heller High Water. No, I did not. they would wait for the I will, person coming to unlock the door because then no one else is in there. You don't have to worry about anything. I, w- I said I will see that movie. I'm under. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Nice. Any Very circumstances. Good. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it was just after 11 a.m. on Monday that a man walked up to the counter at the U.S. Bank branch at 7993 uh, Euclid Avenue. Mm-hmm. Put it on the tour. Dumb people town walking tour. Mm-hmm. On the city's east side and passed a note demanding money. I love uh, that that's just still I, the way it goes. There's an unwritten rule. You got to write the note <laughs> and Why slide Why would it? you want to create more evidence? That's what I've never understood. Uh, <laughs> Unless what? you type the note. Now your yeah. fingerprints are on. Like, why type. would you do this? You should that's why cut you out the letters like a ransom <laughs> like letter. Like a serial killer? <laughs> <laughs> like a magazine from a magazine. But that- yes. What's wrong? Why do people not just say it? Do they think like, well, I, I didn't say it. Isn't that the greatest? Scene but that's the in- moment where Dan become like whoever is. If there are people listening to the podcast who work at banks, they then say, "I'm sorry, I can't hear you." Yeah. Can you come outside and tell me? <laughs> that's good. Yeah. I just don't. I don't. I've never <laughs> gotten that move. But you're right. That is the move. Yeah. How about because so, like they're it's like they're putting their bank statement, but like- nobody else slides a note to a bank teller. So it's if someone slides, yeah, if you're getting a note, you're like. Fuck. Fuck, here we go. <laughs> you're going to need to read it. Meanwhile, you're like, All guy, right. guy, next person in line who's scrolling through his phone and yeah. has his Angry. earbuds in is like, what What's the fuck? On? Let's go. <laughs> God. And you're like, why aren't you depositing your checks just as mobile banking? That's the easiest thing in the way. When the teller took the note and looked at it and looked at the other side, she saw 
his name. He no. had used, <laughs> he had used a note that he had used earlier at the BMV, which I believe is the Bureau of Mo- Motor, Motor Vehicles, vehicles. Mm-hmm. not and the DM. It had his name on it. Said mm-hmm. Special Agent Vicky Anderson. Mm-mm. Of the Cleveland office of the FBI. Vicki Anderson has been wearing the bump it since the day it came out. <laughs> Vicki Anderson, to me, sounds like a name of somebody who sells Tupperware, but that is why you do not underestimate people, because she is a goddamn FBI <laughs> Vicky, agent. Vicki Anderson. Vicki is, is an FBI agent? Yes. <laughs> and is now robbing a bank. No, no. this is she's Vicky oh. reporting on the situation. Wait, Vic- did I rob a bank? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fortune, we have bad news for you. Vicki <laughs> Anderson <laughs> is the kind of woman who wears a pantsuit to a kid's birthday party. That's right. Vicki Anderson <laughs> has, has kicked down her fair share of doors. <laughs> she's played by Lauren Holly. You know it. <laughs> I think she's, I don't know. Why am I thinking? A- I don't know. Authorities say, as Michael Harrell was robbing the bank, mm-hmm. he actually wrote the holdup note on the back of a document from the Ohio Bureau mm-hmm. of Motor Vehicles, uh, complete Michael. with his name and address. Yes! yes! There he Easy is. Easy to find. Dude. Dude. Well, well, he needed some paper. He was like, can you direct deposit the money I'm stealing <laughs> into my, my account? account? <laughs> Here is my number. Uh, no problem. Can we just get your social? Yeah, right, sure. Of course. Sure. Why wouldn't I? Um... Uh, where was I? I already forgot it. Oh, the guy. investigator said the teller was stunned. This is where, I, th- right now, this is where I, you're about to love this teller. Okay. She actually even referred to him as Michael. <laughs> Michael. Right now, Mike, Michael. 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 You want, you want, how do you want those bills? Michael, Michael. Harrell of Does East he freak 14? out when he, when she realizes that? <laughs> I don't know. He's like, how'd you know my name? <laughs> I know, right? You're good. By Ooh. the way. Dude, your service here is impeccable. You that take is, the time to know your customer. That is so bold because you know she just slipped it in conversation. Uh-huh. Now, how do you want those bills, Michael? I mean, <laughs> he probably just felt comfortable. Right. You know? He's he like, forgot, for. he, oh, forgot he was robbing a bank. He's like, oh, thanks here, for asking. Yeah, here at U.S. Bank, we take the time <laughs> we, to get we, to know our robbers. Everyone who's well robbing us, our customers. you're all the same guys. <laughs> We don't uh, want to rob you of good customer service. So, <laughs> <laughs> she, she actually even referred to him as Michael, quote, gave him the money and called him Michael, then notified law enforcement. She called him Michael, I believe. Twice. Twice. There you yeah. go. Double Michael. She double you know, Michael like, that Something situation. didn't seem right. I'm yeah. Like, Authorities that uh, went a little too smoothly. Once authorities confirmed that Harold was the same man caught on surveillance <laughs> cameras robbing the bank, a warrant was quick, quickly issued yeah. for his arrest. Yeah, the FBI said this is not the first time that a bank robber has left something incriminating on a piece of evidence at the scene, but in each case, it makes the job finding the suspect a lot easier. It does sure it? Does. Thanks, we, Vicky. We've had individuals drop things on the way out the door that they didn't intend to. Obviously, we've had individuals drop cell phones, you wallets, go. go back yeah don't or don't take anything identifying right you Uh, (laughs) you you listening robbers (laughs) you hear that everybody here's here's some advice you 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 need to check the gram (laughs) while you're waiting in line to rob a bank uh we've had individuals drop cell phones that have their identifying information in it we have individuals drop knowledge yeah they drop knowledge they've dropped uh their address now (laughs) on those keychains with their names on it beats hints uh (laughs) anderson said quote a lot of times we're sending out pictures we have no idea who the person could be or what part of town they're from and when you present a note that has your name already on it and address it helps law enforcement tremendously oh that's Uh, that is it how about it solves the case yes (laughs) i love that they could i love that law enforcement robbed us of our job that's right they're not willing to go so, so far, far as, as to, to say, say it solved the case for us. Well, yeah, here's why. <laughs> They're like, we figured this out. Investigators said the smart move now for Harold would be to turn himself in. Oh, he hasn't done it and they haven't caught him yet? Anyone with information on Harold's whereabouts what? What? should call the Cleveland Division of the Police, the FBI, or the Cuyahoga, <laughs> Cuyahoga, Cuyahoga. Cuyahoga yeah. County Crime Stoppers at 216-252-746. How have they not caught him yet? <laughs> they they remain- didn't get him right as he was leaving Crime the bank. Yeah. Call, call, or the fact that they know where he lives. He's in Mexico right now. Calls what what if that Andy? wasn't his document? Uh, mm, what if he's smarter than we that's think? A oh, we got him on oh. a roll. He said now who's Michael dumb. Harrell. Calls now can remain dumb, anonymous Vicky. and reward money is available. We will get out of here on this. How old is Michael Harrell? So, Fortune, as always, you're our guest. You can go first, Tig, or third. How old do you think the man who tried to rob a bank and recently had to go down to the Bureau of Motor Vehicles with his information on the back? 21. 21 years old. So you know he's more than 16, so. Yeah. I think this guy's 40. 
40 from Jason Sklar. I See, I agree with Fortune. I think it, this is the work of a younger, dumber person. Mm -hmm. This is a person who <laughs> had the idea in my, like, hasn't lived enough right. to do something like that. I think uh, 24. Okay. Michael Harrell. Play along, Townies, wherever you are. Guess that age. Shout, shout it at your ham shout radios. It, shout, <laughs> it, shout it. Shout it out loud. Okay. Michael Harrell is 54 years Whoa! old. Come I on. could not have read that. I was one. reading old into this. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, Good man. God. You should not know even better. Not old enough to be senile. No, no, you should know. Oh, he's in the old range of yeah. senile. You, yeah. yeah. you should know better. There's By the way, 54, I used to be like, God, that's so, so old. old. That's just like a guy <laughs> working on his garage <laughs> yeah. in black socks and uh, six years older than us. <laughs> yep. All right. All right uh, there yes. we go. Wow. That's story number two. Down in the books. Dan, can you tease us with what we'll be talking about in our final story today? Uh, two quick things. One, a little story that I forgot to tell you guys. Ooh, the show. Fun. Love and it. two, uh, an apologetic thief. Oh, oh, okay. Fortune Feepster is with us, and this is Dumb People Town. You don't want to go anywhere. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Guys, support for Dumb People Town comes from Manscaped, who is number one in men's below-the-belt grooming. I love it. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Folks. That's what I'm talking about, man. Look, this is the summertime. They got a lawnmower 2.0. You got to get in there and make things it'll clean. Make, it'll turn you into the Property Brothers. That's right. Like magic. Look at that. I love it. What is that called? Curb appeal. Curb appeal. I, you got to get that curb appeal working. You don't want to see any. And you don't want to use the same trimmer on your beard as you do on your balls? Come no. on. Come on, man. You don't want to see an English garden down there. You no. want it kempt. Mm -hmm. Kemp it up. Manscaped, they know how to do it. They give you the tools. They give you what you need. Anti-chafing ball deodorant. Thank you Come very on. much. And moisturizer, you're welcome. There you go. You already put deodorant on your armpits. Why aren't you putting deodorant down there, for Christ's sake? Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code DPT at manscaped.com. You need this stuff, guys. Always use the right tools for the job. Your balls will thank you. 20% off and free shipping with the code DPT at manscaped.com. One more time. 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the code DPT. Do it. Townies, townies, we got some exciting news to share with you. We it's are, already started. We are launching a members-only version of Dumb, Dumb People, People Town. Town called Dumb People Town Plus. It's everything you already love about Dumb People Town but with some special benefits too. Not only will we be uh, releasing exclusive episodes only available to members, Dumb People Town Plus episodes will be ad-free and available earlier for members than anyone else. The best part is you'll have that sweet, sweet satisfaction of knowing you are supporting our show. Dumb People Town Plus is available on our favorite podcast app, and it is my app where I get my I podcast. I get all my podcasts Himalaya. here. Himalaya! I love Himalaya. All you have to do is download the Himalaya app. That's H-I-M-A-L-A-Y-A, -A -A, and search for Dumb People Town. Then click Become a Member. It's just $5 a month. And uh, you can join up and get those episodes early, get them ad-free, get extra content. That's what we want you to do. Again, go to Himalaya, search for that Himalaya app, download it. It's free. Listen to all your podcasts through Himalaya, then become a member. Of search Dumb People, Dumb People Town. Town at $5 a month, and you get all that extra stuff. Once you do it now, you guys are loyal listeners. We love you, townies. Here's a way to bump it up to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, Dan, take us home with a story okay. or two little things. Quick little thing. Yes. First of all, I totally forgot. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was in Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you I... go to Vegas, by the way? Uh, occasionally, but not. What's your you What is seller? your relationship with Vegas? My relationship in Vegas is I'm doing a show. Uh, I'm going to do the show and then leave the next day. Do you <laughs> two, two days max. Do you gamble at all? No, I'm not a big gambler. Yeah. I'll occasionally do, do a slot the machine. Pool? Like the bar? I tried hanging out at the pool bar. and it's too much of a scene. Right. Yeah. Like finding even a spot. Yeah, right. like, I, I just ass. need shade, and they're right. like, "No, you're all gonna burn." Yeah. Uh, you want in the shade? Sun. That'll be a thousand dollars to sit on under that cabana. You do have to like pay a tremendous amount of money to have, oh, you shade. Can have shade. Go yeah. have shade right over there, and it's not worth it to me. The guy yeah. fluffing your towel, you got to pay him eight hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm Where just not a Vegas person. Uh, they were doing this series for a while at the Venetian. Yeah. Uh, they had lady comics. Mm. Uh, like once a month, and then, but I think they stopped doing that. I did that like four times. It was pretty cool. How were the audiences? Good. Um, they were good. It wasn't your typical like 
uh, Vegas, Vegas show, show where they're just like, get to it. Yeah. yeah. I got, got money to yeah. lose. <laughs> Uh, they were pretty cool, but I haven't been to Vegas in maybe two years. I want to so. do the cellar there so bad. I've I heard great things it. about it. And Kimmel's Club, it. I've heard. Mm-hmm. Kimmel's Club is great. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so my quick little thing is I'm in Vegas, and being the Midwestern basic bitch that I am, mm-hmm. I go to the Vanderpump Lounge inside Caesars. <laughs> no. I saw it. Send me a picture. I know. And I'm sitting. It's in Caesars. Drink, you're Vander- drinking a martini. Uh-huh. So good. Skinny martini. Skinny martini. Big flowers. Like flowers too big. Yeah. Every, all the yeah. flowers are too big. Everything's pink. Gorgeous. Lisa Vanderpump. It's run rampant. Throughout. She rules. And you can't do too much. It's Vegas. So yeah. she has carte blanche. Yeah. All of a sudden I hear, hey, man. And I turn around and the guy goes, oh, God. are you Daniel Van Kirk? Nope. Get out of here. Nope. I'm a huge dumb people town. Yeah. Yeah. I heard Boom. your voice first. Yeah. And I was like, I know that voice. Mm-hmm. And I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was that, I was not that drunk. But it was, uh, so I had a message from uh, a dumb people town fan Tony. at Vanderpump That's Lounge amazing. That told me to tell you guys. Thank uh, you. Thanks, dude. There was there yeah. was a uh, cool Joey was his name. Great dude. Uh, thanks, Joey. dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's always fun because Oh, very fun. Because you are in people's ears and, yeah. and you're you're in their brain. And if you're yeah. ever listening to Sirius Radio on your I mean, app you're or whatever. Every day. You're, you're gonna have people guys, all the time. I don't want to brag, but oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> so many plus, years plus, so many years already, right now. You've already crushed for years. <laughs> the I'm point is that like people get comfortable with your voice and you are if they listen to your podcast a lot, you are a voice of their most listened to voices in their yeah. lives. So yeah. it makes sense that that would happen. That's mm-hmm. really cool. Were you well, talking really it. loudly? I'm, I'm. It's me. Hey, I'm what's going here. on over there? Why are these flowers so big? Get down from there, uh, Diane. Why are these martinis $30? Yeah. <laughs> that dumb people down there? Where's Jax? <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend Kirk? Vanderpump Lounge. Where's and Jax? if they want to sponsor dumb people down there. Sure, why okay. not? Sent in. This is a fun little story. Sent in by Joe Luttrell at The Gentleman Show. Thanks, buddy. Always on it. Sends great ones. Uh, this is uh, from uh, app. Com. Thank you, app.com. You done with app? Yeah, 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 you know me. me. Uh, Karma caught up to a ketchup thief who swiped a bottle from the Lacey Perkins. I don't know. I don't know. Dan, no, do, you know, Dan do you understand? I get it now. It's in Lacey from the Perkins oh, in Lacey. The Perkins. I literally thought it was a place called yeah. Lacey Perkins. I was like, I like, know Perkins. Perkins in Lacey. Do you know how clever the person thought they were with the caught up? Catch up. Oh, you're right. Karma caught up, up to a caught catch up, up to a catch up. Karma I caught up to that. a catch up thief sounds like a verse from uh, American Bye Bye Miss American Bye uh, that they're like we can't use. That. Yeah, yeah. It's the, already too full. The, who, Karma who, caught who, up with a catch up thief. Don, it's already too full. The guy, Don, whoever Don, wrote this article is like, I should have written a book. I have so many. Don, yeah. you're dating Good your lines. great niece's friend. We can't play that song anymore. Karma caught up to a catch up thief who swiped a bottle from the Lacey Perkins on mm-hmm. South Main Street. Add that to the walking tour. According to a note. Who swiped a bottle from a man named Keith. Mm, Don, it's too big already. You've Don, got, you you got, guys. got the church bells were broken. You got to lose something. The fact that you're dating an 11 year old means we cannot play your music anymore, Don. Um. According to a note, right now I'm going to Google Don. Google how young Don McLean's girlfriend (laughs) was. Young Young girlfriend. It's real. (laughs) Oh, Lacey Perkins with a summer Mm -mm. gherkin. Sorry. Gherkin. Do you want the men whiskey and rye or do you want this Perkins bit? Because you can't. We got to take something out. I didn't know about this Don McLean story. I didn't either. got swiped. Okay. According to the note posted to the Lacey Township Center. Township Chatter Facebook group. Which, by the way, you know a there, are a lot of, oh there are a God. lot. This is like nextdoor.com. American Pie Lake. singer Don McLean, 73, and model girlfriend, 24. No! Confirmed right now? Romance. Now. Now. Wow. Just started singing. Mm-hmm. Bye. <laughs> How old is this guy? Bye, bye, my innocence and you. Uncle Ken hates that song. Mm-hmm. All right. The ketchup thief. Feeling the sting of bad luck after mm-hmm. lifting the tomato product, replaced, you were right about this person wanting to be an author, mm-hmm. replaced the missing bottle with two new ones and left an apology note to the staff. Oh, that's so nice. Guilty. That's nice. Dan, don't you say you can take, what can you take from Chipotle? Oh, all the Tabasco sauce you want. That's it. The, I don't all, think that's I don't right. think you can, Dan. Like the bottles? Yes. You what do you the mean? Whole thing. That's not. Dan, right. you I've asked cannot. them. They say if you Dan, want that, the bottle, Dan, take right you it. ask one person who doesn't care about yeah. their job. Yeah, Dan. And they're you like, mean everyone it. at Chipotle. Yes. Do you have any coal? I break out every nine days. Okay. okay. 
You think they're worried about how much Chipotle Tabasco <laughs> sauce? Is. Do they really? Yes. You can just take and it. And I have a joke about it in my stand-up because I love Chipotle. I'm like, I don't care. Oh but whatever they need to do to get that line down, weed these people <laughs> out. That's a great joke. We got to E. coli this line down a little bit. Right. Oh, my right. God. I'm What's fine with it. What's Go our joke? It. Our joke in, uh, is about people bringing pets into the into restaurants and like, I don't want to go to Chipotle and get kennel cough. I want to go to Chipotle <laughs> and get diarrhea the way, the way God, God and Chipotle, Chipotle intended, intended it. Continue. If you say to them, how much of this Tabasco sauce can I use? They'll, They'll say, say, as much as you want. Okay. The they're not bottle? saving the bottle. The whole bottle. Like, they're not going to like, well, we still need the bottle. Oh, they're they not like replenishing the no. bottles. Th- okay. Th- you take it. It's out and there for the customer to use. Have you taken the whole bottle? I have three in my fridge. Okay. I've asked. Dan. I will All die right, on this Dan, hill. You are, There's, Vicky's you coming will, to a rest. Ra- you'll uh, you'll die of E. coli on that hill. <laughs> Vicky, what's her face? Well, he went out doing what he loved. <laughs> uh, eating Selfridas. Okay. <laughs> Felt bad luck after <laughs> lifting the tomato product. He replaced the missing bottle with two, two new, new ones. Fresh and ones. Left an, it could be a she, I suppose. Right. And left an apology. I think it, I don't know. I have a feeling it, it is. It feels like it's a woman. left an apology note to the staff, according to the Post. Quote, this is the note. A few weeks ago, I had taken one of your ketchup bottles off the table because for some odd reason, I thought it'd be risky. Mm-hmm. What? Quote, I am risky. as square as they come, and this is the worst thing I've done. If this is the worst thing you've done, you're, you're I, doing great. I believe it, because anyone that uses the word square I, right. is, I mean, is risky. in fact square. I'm right. as square as they come. This is the worst thing I've done in the parentheses instead of punching, <laughs> and next to punching that baby. Hours yeah. after the theft, the ketchup culprits car was involved in a crash according to the Ooh, note. Bad the thief karma. said their karma has soured as a result of the act. Yeah. I hope returning two new bottles will restore some karma for me and I can stop carrying around the guilt. No, 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 Dan. She's not carrying around the guilt. It might be he. Yes. Or he. I don't know either. What this person is saying is I did something bad and now it's negatively affecting my life. So now and I so need to get that I need to get the out. negativity out. Not I feel bad that I did that right. to you. It's more like it's I like need if these... I wouldn't have gotten into a car accident, you, you would not be have two more bottles for me thing. again. Right. You wouldn't yeah. even it wouldn't even be a problem she, for us. She probably went to a psychic and was yes. like, what do I do? It took a <laughs> random car accident. I'm gonna show you guys the photo. Right here. Oh, that's a long nose. Yeah, oh, look at it. The, and the they're like, we don't use. To prove that they're they like, bought we, those. They're like, we use um, bottles, not plastic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Come on. We <laughs> don't use organic cat sup, yeah. you asshole. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It says I'm from really an sorry. awful person. This, this, no, this you're is not definitely, an awful person. By the way, this is definitely a woman. The handwriting is way yeah, too good. Yeah, it is. For sure. And so self-deprecating. They drew their own sad face emoticon. Little sad yeah. face, and then said, "I'm, I'm really sorry, sorry from yeah, an if I can person. inconvenience you in the way, uh, but, in the same way my life has been inconvenienced. All right, I feel bad for." But this what's person. happening in this person's life where they're like, "I need to take a risk. Yeah, I need to do There's something the bigger risky. Question. I need to. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna steal this ketchup. Do it. Yes. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna do it." Do I'm, it, Barbara. I'm, I'm, Barbara, I'm, are you risky. up for that kind of risk? No, yes. I, I don't think you can handle it. No, I've lived my whole life being square. You're just going to take it? I've never done she's anything. Gonna, go, she's putting it in her I, purse. I pay my parking tickets she's on time. She's putting it in her purse. She, I, it I, is I, in her purse. Okay. You guys, she's is, walking I'm out of here right now with Diane I, and telling her tell that Barbara's, her that Barbara's off already had it. this. She's gone. I'm bye, guys. This is a new Barbara. I've never felt freer. Oh, my God. This is a... I can't believe it. Barbara, do you need a ride home? I'm shaking. You're going to drive yourself? Yeah, I'm going to drive. You're going to... You seem I feel, shaky, no, though. I feel great. You this is gun. oh, this is new me. It's a new me. <laughs> right, we'll see you. In a, and uh, we'll see you back at the house. All right, I'll meet you there. Just right. take the regular uh, route. Okay, I got this. <laughs> I'm gonna forward. ways my way home. Fast forward. <laughs> Fast forward two hours. I'm the worst person ever. Oh, I my life have been is shit. Barbara, Barbara, it's I knew not it. because of the ketchup. I knew it. No. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> She'll oh never. She will never take a risk ever uh, again. again. She won't even play the game risk. No. We'll get out of here on this. Lacey Township Chatter Group member Maria DeLeo, oh, God, this who posted woman. the note, topped the entry with her own message. Quote, to the person that returned this, mm-hmm. you are forgiven. Oh. Hope all goes better for you. Lesson learned. Who okay. gave her the power to forgive? Yeah. Since when right. are you God? I like definitely dropped down... <laughs> 
It's like, Maria's She's like, not, you guys, Maria's I got done a lot of nefarious <laughs> shit. Her forgiveness means nothing. You know what? There's so much condemnation going on on Facebook that if some people want to start thinking they can forgive other there people, you go. Great. let's bring a little bit. I of- grant you <laughs> immunity. What made her so powerful? <laughs> Maria Delgado or whatever her name Melissa is. Melissa DeLeo. I, don't, I already went away from it. What was her name? I really want to Who doesn't know. care? Well, According anyway, to my jurisdiction, Maria DeLeo. you are all right. <laughs> we, <laughs> I stand on high. I and grant you forgiveness. She like oh, thinks man. she is a ruler in Game of Thrones. No. All right, Maria DeLeo. That's well, that Perkins has some new ketchup ready that's to right. go. There you go. I feel like going to Perkins right now. All right, there you go. That's the show. Fortune Feimster, Fortune Funny on Twitter, Fortune Feimster on Instagram. Uh, your go radio see your show. live. Go see your taping in Charlotte. Uh, listen to the radio show at Tom Papa, which is serious on the mornings at ni- Channel ninety three seven a.m. Yep. In uh, what a joke with uh, uh, fortunate with that, Papa and Fortune. All right? that good stuff. Yeah. All, it. all right, guys. Thanks for then, having me. Oh shit, we got to get back to work. Dum 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 Stick around, make a sound, hunger down, it's dumb people town. Stop it, a podcast. A podcast network.